Hello, I'm the Budget Mother, and this is episode 64 of my King Tiger and Bergpanzer diorama build. If you're watching this, then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment, and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. First off, we're going to finish off the Grenadier's camo pattern with lots of little dots of green, brown, and beige. Oh, my eyes were bleeding after this. So, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. There we go, that's the Grenadier's camo, webbing and boots, oh, and weapon, all sorted. Next up, we have the whites of their eyes. Well, ice yellow from Vallejo, 70.858, but at this scale, it's very representative of the eye whites. Anywho, less of the waffle, let's crack on and get them painted. Right, there we have the whites done. Next, it's hair colour. I'm using Tamiya's whole red brown, rubber black and desert yellow. So, let's crack on with those then.
that's the hair sorted out. You may have noticed that the tank crew have blonde hair and blue eyes. Just saying. Anywho, next up is the iris colour. I'm using Tamiya Clear Blue and Hull Red Brown. So, let's crack on. There you go, that's the irises painted, clear blue and whole red brown. Not very well I might add, but nothing a splosh of Citadel's Reichland Flesh Shade can't hide. So let's get that on the figure, shall we? Bloody hell! All over my fresh clean card! Well, thank God it wasn't white. Anyway, let's better get that cleaned up. Remember kids, make sure your lid is on tightly before shaking. There we have all the figures nearly done. Just boots, braces, belts and a bit of weathering to do. Whilst they're drying, let's get on with a telegraph pole and some signs. Bear in mind, this is not a real place, so I have free reign where I'm putting it.
there we have the signs and telegraph pole glued and filled. I'm still not sure if I'm going to be using that pole as the peony stalks look better. We have one of these in our garden. This is it. And I get the stalks just in case. Hey, a modeler. What do you expect? Anywho, time for the base. This has already had two coats of PB PVA, that was easy for me to say, to stop the wood slurping everything up. Now for a coat of filler. I got this from my local DIY store for about five quid. So let's get on with this. That's the filler added. We used a load of water for two reasons. One, it makes the filler go further. Two, when it dries, it creates cracks, so it looks better. Next, the cat litter walls. I need to be careful with these as my PVA and water mix was too thin. Note for next time, make it thicker. So, once I've done this and the filler has dried, We'll be giving it another dosing of PVA mix, only this time it's going to be thicker. So, let's crack on. There we have the walls situated. Because the walls fell apart, we've made it look as though it's literally falling apart. Mm, we'll see how that works out. Anywho. This seems like a good a place as any to end. That's mainly because I've run out of footage. I'll try to get as much done as I can over the next few weeks, but I'm getting married to. So anything to do with that will take precedence over this in the future, as the future Mrs. Modler has lots of things she wants me to do. So thank you for watching episode 64. If you want to see what happens in episode 65, then please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.